Swaggy Beams are back. I'm Miami 219. Today we're going to be talking about my elite freebie. This is from la or technically this is from Monday morning, as the Rivals Clash ended. Then Sunday night, I ended up. I believe I got up at like midnight to see if it was eligible to be claimed, and it wasn't. So Monday morning, I just did it. I got Ben Simmons and that Derek Coleman on your screen right there. Which was able to push me into elite tier. It actually pushed me into elite plus, which is excellent because being an elite tier is much better, much more enjoyable than being an epic tier because the cards you pull in elite tier are the so called, in quote, elite players of the NBA. Now, spoiler alerts, I'm not going to say anything. There are some elite cards that really aren't great like there's an epic prime carmel anthony on the the houston rockets like i'd much rather pull that card in terms of an elite than i would an elite so like the, i'd rather have an epic some epic primes i think are better than elites but of course i'd rather have an elite because they're higher stats but i'm gonna give a quick shout out to my team this video i update for me and for my team because the gauntlet is going to be this week's event if it, it should be it's not confirmed yet but we've had rivals guys we've had king of the court now all we need is the gauntlet the gauntlet actually believe it or not is my favorite event and the reason being is because when you play rivals clash or when you play king of the court you need to be 100 percent focused on the game i can quickly just tap my cards and beat my opponent's deck in the gauntlet i there's nothing more frustrating than being just focus on one game and not anything else like actually i shouldn't really say that because fortnite is your your only focus but i'm playing 2k19 my team i'm doing some other things like talking to people if i'm playing rival clash i cannot play 2k19 and, and play rival clash but if i can play 2k19 and i can play the gauntlet number one there's game nights well i should the king of the court the king of the court games you have to be focused though because you have to it's all about matchups the gauntlet if you have a good deck you just are gonna dominate whoever you face now Am I going to be able to get the event card? No, I'm not. But I'll be able to get the elite card itself, and I'll be able to get both epic primes. They're not going to be dupes. They never do dupes, but nonetheless, it's two epic primes that I didn't have before. One more uh, halfway there, 50% chance now to pull a dupe off the off the draft. We're not really 50% because there's so many cards, but if I pull it, I pull it. That's a dupe. Also, it gives you a chance to show off your deck that you've been working up to. I'll show you guys my deck. It's not going to be on the screen, but... I have an Elite Pro, I have an Epic Prime Pro, I have Giannis Elite, I have Ben Simmons, and I have, uh, I'm not going to you guys haven't seen my Elite freebie yet, so I'm not going to say that, but the Elite, Carmel Anthony, Gustav Nurchitz, Lonzo Ball, Chris Dunn, Marcus Smart, those are Epic Primes, I have a few more Epic Primes, I have a ton of Ultra Pros, and I have some, a pretty decent amount of Epic Pros, and a lot of Epic Dupes, that still have to be pro and just Epic Solos. So I have a pretty good deck. I'm confident with it. I'm happy with it. There is going to have to be one event where I go over the top and I actually get myself an event card. That, of course, one, it will not be this weekend because it's the gauntlet. Next weekend will be King of the Court. I will. I can't stand King of the Court, man. I just don't like it. I didn't play one single second of this Flash event. That that Regardless, next weekend is going to be the MLB playoffs. going to be starting on Friday. I'm a huge Red Sox fan for the OZ. They didn't know that. Friday night. I'm going to be watching the game. I'm not going to be, I do not care about a my NBA event. Saturday, I'm going to be actually at the game, my first ever playoff game, which is uh, incre incredibly, uh, ha makes, I guess it's like an incredible blessing. You know, a lot of people can't go to that. It's expensive. And also just, it's, I'm just happy to see my team have a chance to win a World Series. The Red Sox, they won in 2013. A lot of teams can't say that they've won since then. That's five years ago. I think the Sox are the best team. They have the best record in franchise history, the best record in the entire MLB. And I'm very confident in their ability to to at least make a run. I'm not going to say win the World Series because it doesn't matter if you're the best team. Anybody can win the, the World Series in baseball, which is why I think baseball is superior to any other sport. In football, let's face it, the Vikings, it's between the Vikings and the Rams and the NFC and the AFC. Patriots actually have lost two in a row. They may lose three in a row. They're playing, what, the 3-0 Dolphins this year. Can't count out the Steelers. They had a pretty big win against the Buccaneers. The Jaguars, of course. I'd say it's between the Jaguars and the Chiefs are definitely up there, but can they actually play in the playoffs? Because they, they have good regular season, but then they don't play in the playoffs. The Bengals have looked solid. I'm going to say it's between the Steelers, Chiefs, Patriots, and Jags, the four teams that I'm going to say. So in baseball, 
Red Sox. Okay, so Yankee. I'm not going to talk about baseball because I know you guys probably don't care, but let's we'll quickly wrap this up. So Yankees play the A's in the wild card game. We don't know who's going to win that. Then they, that winner plays the Red Sox. Then that winner plays the winner of the Indians and the Astros. Any of those teams can win. The Red Sox have 107 wins. Does that guarantee them to make the World Series? No, it doesn't. It, like some people actually have the Red Sox ranked last in power rankings for the playoffs, which is, to me is absurd, but some people do. For example, Buster only has the Red Sox fourth in the AL. But uh, to summarize this video, though, the reason why I wanted to make this video is to show you guys who my elite freebie was. You guys can see it on the screen there. Gus Williams is his name. Yeah, Gus Williams. I forgot to like commentate over it, but nothing too crazy. He's a solid card. He's ranked behind Giannis and Simmons, as he should be. Ben Simmons and Giannis can do really, really anything on a basketball court. Offense, they can't shoot that much, but they have great playmaking ability, and they can score if needed. They can do pretty much anything, both at length. Very excellent defenders. For my team, though, I don't think I went down. Yeah, I didn't even go down the list. So, uh, Awoking, Johnstone. Mellow for MVP, WB Gaming, WMD, 3 Elliot, ARG YouTube, ARG, Ashy Knees, Big Fudge, Cambio 7, Kyrie Irving 31, see if I pronounce this correctly, I believe it's Malini 13, NTB. Davo, hopefully, if it's, hopefully I'm pronouncing these correctly, let me know if I'm not, and Ukraine. I'm I didn't even notice. Uh, Malone 13 actually if you were pacing, paying close enough attention you saw him when I was going to play my first quick game to get my elite freebie he actually was on that list I didn't play him and that didn't even give me my card I go into rating threes those 13 picks that's really interesting hope you guys have a great day so I have a game signing out